Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for another Blu-ray update and I have just, you know, things have been quiet for a little while and then all of a sudden, boom, I have just been delivered a, a massive package of movies and another one's coming today as well. It may be time for an intervention. So, we have a bunch of movies here that I'm going to talk through and this is going to be really interesting because I know absolutely nothing about um, any of these. Yeah, seems like it. So we've got uh, Eureka, we've got Terracotta Films, 101 Films, 88 Films, lots of Italian, Asian, uh, Agfa titles. Let's just dive into these movies of which I know absolutely nothing. Wouldn't this be fascinating? First up from Eureka, we have Odd Couple. Now, another one of those Sammo Hung, uh, Lao Kar Wing titles. Um, those two guys were together in Knockabout and Dreadnought. Dreadnought I loved, Knockabout I still to watch. And I picked this one up because these seem to be kind of going pretty fast. Um, and, and they've got... <laughs> oh, the collector's problems. They've got that uniformity of the packaging with the slipcover. Um, and I really like that uniformity because... I don't know why, really, but I do. Um, so I picked that up, and to be honest, I generally uh, have enjoyed all of the movies so far, and I'm sure that'll be uh, much the same. One that I posted a deal on the page, uh, remarkably cheap, was Meet the Ball Machine. Now, this was uh, posted as a limited edition. It's come with the, the slip cover and um, some extra uh, stuff inside it, and it just looked crazy utterly crazy. I had no idea what the plot was, what was going on, but for £5 odds, it just looked mental. One thing that bugs me about this, and again, is the collector mentality. Why do such trivial things really bug me? The blue case. The blue case is something I don't get often these days because everything's clear. And that, that just, just seeing that, annoys me <laughs> oh I, I don't know why uh, new movies from 101 films in their Agfa range and a title that I am genuinely super excited about checking out because it just looks mental God Monsters of Indian Flats um, a weird sheep like monster terrorising people it looks hokey silly and I need to see this I have been really enjoying the Agfa releases. I think 101 films taking on these are, are something wonderful. They're very different. Not for everybody, but I, I particularly am really enjoying them. This looks crazy. Again, it comes with another movie, um, which this one is The Legend of Bigfoot from 1975. And I'm sure it'll be hokey, uh, low-budget stuff, but you know what, I, I like it, I can't wait to check this one out, this might be the first one I watch out of all of these. Uh, next up from the Agfa range from 101 Films is Drug Stories. Now I believe this is kind of an amalgamation of um, various drug preventative uh, little short films, so I'm not too sure what to expect from this one. Uh, curiosity has me more than anything. Uh, and. I, I don't know. I don't know. Check them out. Uh, 101 Films very kindly sent me these ones, so I'm, like I said, I'm super excited for God Monsters. Now on to some 88 Films titles, which I got with some birthday money that I had. A lot of them are pre-orders, and they just all kind of fell through the door today. Again, I'm just like, overwhelmed with movies to watch, which isn't a bad thing, but work keeps getting in my way. What a hassle. Anyway, first up we've got Jackie Chan and Half a Loaf of Kung Fu. Looks very comedic, very silly. We have got uh, Jackie Chan on the cover with somebody's scalp and hair. Uh, all these images from Kung Fu Bob usually allude to things within the plot. It looks pretty crazy. I know nothing about this one. It's Jackie Chan. Of course I was getting it. I hope it's one of the better ones. Next up from 88 Films near Shaw Brothers range, number 35, and that is Hero starring Yun Biao and Yun Wah. So, uh, again, this one has a, a big sort of 
talking about it online when people uh, realised it was coming out. I know very little about it, as I do with all of these titles, but the Shaw Brothers releases are something that I, I've always loved throughout my life. Remember watching them when I was younger, but now I'm getting really kind of passionate about them with uh, 88 film Shaw Brothers range and with uh, Arrow getting into it as well and discovering a lot of these fun ones has been great. Now, the difference between uh, my opinion, the Shaw Brothers from 88 and the Shaw Brothers from Arrow is they were all kind of similar style movies within the Arrow box set. I feel as if you look at the Shaw Brothers range from uh, 88 films, it's quite varied and this one particularly looked great. A kind of horror movie, martial arts mix, Human Lanterns, uh, rated 18 which gives me all kind of hope. Uh, and this one just looked super fun, very atmospheric, very spooky, and I, I don't know what to expect. Are we going to have more of a martial arts spin to it? Is it going to be more of leaking into kind of black magic uh, or seeding of a ghost? That kind of craziness. Is it going to be an amalgamation of both? I really hope it is because that could be super fun. Uh, this is number 33 in uh, the Shaw Brothers range, which is a collection that I've, I've almost got all of them now, I think. I should really do a video on the 88 film Shaw Brothers stuff. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comment box below. Next up, we have uh, an essential pickup. And I do mean essential. It is from the Italian collection. Um, not sure which number it is. Must be in the 70s or the high 60s. And it is a violent city. Charles Bronson, Telly Savalas, I, I'm, uh, I'm in my element here. Uh, a couple of actors that I absolutely adore um, in a kind of subgenre that I utterly love, sold. And uh, because a lot of these 88 films were bought with uh, birthday money, uh, and uh, one that I was in two minds about getting, but when I was doing a live stream, a couple of people really kind of pushed me towards that and that is uh, Zedder from the Italian collection as well. Directed by Pepe uh, uh, Avati and this was um, the director of quite a few uh, Italian classics. Um, most notably he's got one coming soon uh, which looks pretty great as well. I can never remember the name of it, but it was a kind of Agatha Christie murder mystery. Zedder didn't jump out at me and it seems to have a mixed reputation. One that makes me a little bit wary, but of course I will go into it with open arms because I do love the Italian collection. It's one of those genres of movies that I've grown to love within the past five, seven years. Um, pretty much down to Arrow and 88 films, just finding all these Italian classics and just falling in love with the Italian genre movies uh, from the 60s up to the 90s has been just an absolute joy to just go through. So there we have it, a monster video of pickups. All I need now is time, just simply time to sit down and watch these things. I have got a watch pile now that is getting to the uncomfortable stages. It's starting to overgrow and overwhelm and I really need some time to just sit down, relax and watch some movies. Which hopefully I'll get to pretty soon. I'd love to know your thoughts on any of these titles. Which ones should I prioritise? Which one should I wait? Is there a specific movie I should leave until I'm in a certain mood? Uh, what do you recommend? Have you watched? Are you picking any of these up? I want to know in the comment box below. Of course, you can see more of my stuff if you click the links up here. You can click the heart button to let me know that you love Blu-rays and collecting as much as I do. And then there is the Patreon or the membership program if you really want to support me, which is in the description box, which is, um, yeah, it's helping facilitate my debilitating habit. Bye, love you guys for joining it. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time on Man V Film.